This tutorial will show you how to come up with an income statement. It looks something like this and a balance sheet starting with a trial balance and I'm going to use J. Carey, the illustrative examples, in your textbook. You see so here that's the trial balance given there and underneath it you've got some additional information which will form part of your balance day adjustments. <clears throat> For the purposes of this demonstration I've already done the balance day adjustments so let's have a quick look at those. Um, the first one, I'll flick backwards and forwards. Insurance was paid in advance $2,200. Here we've got a debit to prepaid expenses credit to insurance. The other is sales salary is owing, that's an accrued expense. Rent owing to the business $500, that's an accrued expense. Accrued revenue, I beg your pardon. And this last one here is an unearned revenue. Let's have a look how they look as balance day adjustments. There they are there. The important thing is here is how that I actually adjust them on the trial balance and then come up with an adjusted trial balance and then go into coming up with the income statement and a balance sheet. In order to make it easy for myself, I'm just going to uh, copy uh, these entries and go to my trial balance and put, just dump them over here so then you can watch me how am I going to uh, adjust them um, bit by bit just let me do that, ok so in the first instance it says debit prepaid expenses you'll note that prepaid expenses are not down here so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to type prepaid expenses down there because an account that is not anywhere listed in the trial balance yet Similarly, accrued expenses, accrued revenue and unearned revenue are accounts that not, haven't yet been opened up. So what am I going to do, just to save time, I'm going to copy these here and put them down here because I have to come up with an adjusted trial balance. So my first instance, <coughs> prepaid expenses 2200 so I've got to debit that here, so I'm going to type that in here. But importantly, insurance, I have to credit by 2200 So I find my insurance account, which is there. I've got a, it's a debit balance, but I've got to credit it by 2200 Therefore, I'm going to be left with 200 So it's just a matter of crossing 2400 out, minusing the 2200 and I'm left with 200 Sales salaries, it needs to go up by $500. You can see here, sales salaries is already $800. It's so a debit, plus another debit, makes $1,300. Right. And I've got to credit accrued expenses by $500. So I'm going to put that over here. The next entry, accrued revenue, I've got to debit that for $500. So I'm going to put that over here. $500 and it says to put another credit to rent revenue for 500 the rent revenue account is up here it's got 2000 in the credit column so therefore I'm going to add another uh, $500 to it the simple rule here if it's a credit and a credit you add them debit and debit you add them if they're opposite to one another you take them away let's have a look at the last one unearned revenue I've got a credit down here of a hundred dollars that's what that says commission revenue I have to debit that by a hundred dollars that's normally a credit item you see up here it's a credit and I have to debit that on there for I have to take the two away from one another therefore end up with nine hundred dollars so now hopefully if I do my ads um, I will have um, an adjusted trial balance and then I'm ready to go and do my uh, income statement in the balance sheet for that to occur, I'm going to um, generate um, two new uh, totals. I'm going to take the old totals away, um, put the new totals in. So I'm going to go to the Auto Sum tool here, um, bring that down, press Enter, uh, put the same formula in the next column, and they're balancing, which is cool. That's what I want. So now I'm ready to go to my income state. You may have noted that the um, chart of accounts, the way that my trial balance is uh, ordered, is nicely in order. So I'll have my income going down, um, going up to office salaries, um, and that will be the end of my income statement items, and then I've got my uh, balance sheet items all the way down here.
So let's make a start. So sales, 5,000. So go to my income statement. And you'll see that I've already got an original statement here from another exercise. But I'm just going to put all this stuff in. Because um, all the um, uh, formulas are already there, as you can see is that what's happened here. I'll go back to my trial balance. I've got sales returns of 200. So I'm going to put that in. That's 200. <clears throat> and it's calculated it for me, as you can see. Cost of goods sold. Um, so I've got to keep flicking backwards and forward. Uh, so cost of goods sold is 2,300. So I'm going to do that and put all the items in. And as you can see, it's calculating it nicely for me. My commission revenue, um, I think I had an item there on a trial balance. Yes, I had one for $900. So it's a matter of just uh, flicking backwards and forwards and ensuring that you write down these amounts as you go through. Um, you'll see here now that commission revenue, I've got amount for uh, $900. Uh, I beg your pardon, it was uh, not commission revenue, it was rent revenue of $2,500 I've got to put in. Um, therefore, I've got to change that. So that's the rent revenue there, it was $2,500. got no rent revenue so I'm going to take that out so it's just a simple um, let's get rid of that just getting rid of that so therefore um, my other revenue is 3,400 and my total there is 5,900 now I have to take away all my expenses what I'm going to do is instead of flicking backwards and forwards and wasting your time here um, what I'm going to do is f I'm going to um, put advertising, delivery expenses, sales, salaries, insurance and, and that. I'm going to put all those expenses into here. right? And then straight away I'll be able to work out my net properties. So I'm just going to pause. OK, back again. I've just uh, copied and pasted that. You can see that my total expenses here are $3,700. And I've got a profit of 2200 Okay, I'm just going to underline that nicely. There you are. So I've got the profit sorted. Now, what this spreadsheet does, you find here in the balance sheet that the profit down here, as you can see down there, is automatically linked up and already put in. So now what I have to do is to get the rest of the items from the trial balance to the balance sheet. All right. So I've got my current assets up here. Um, and I've got my other assets and I've got other bits and pieces down here which I'm going to show you how to put that in. So let's start on that. So my cash at bank is 460. So I go back to my balance sheet. Um, there it is, it's already there at 460. Um, accounts receivable is 1800. Let's see if that's right. No, it's not. So um, what I have to do um, is to put in the visual amounts, the inventories. Let's check that 1850, 1750. Um, got to put that in. Eighteen seven fifty. Um, and go back to my trial balance. So so far, I've got that one and that one and this one. Um, I've got now. I've got to go to my non-current assets. I've got vehicles of a of ten thousand. Let's put those in. Um, motor vehicle here of 10,000. Um, I've got um, a building of 80,000. Let's have a look at that. That's already there, so I don't have to change that. Um, I've got land of 50,000. Let's put that in instead of the equipment. So that's land 50,000. There's another item of patents that I don't think we've got in our trial balance. Let's just check that. So I've got um, vehicles, building and land. So they're all the assets. So I've got to go back and adjust this balance sheet a bit because this is from a previous example. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay. So as you can see, it just nicely adds it up because it's um, a predetermined spreadsheet. Now. Um, I'm going to continue to go down with the liabilities and assets. Let's just check those. Here we've got 
uh, D. Austin, which is an accounts payable of 350. Let's see how that one works. Um, accounts payable 350. Um, and if we wanted to, we could put the person's name at Type that in there nicely. It's 350. We haven't got a bank overdraft, but we're, what we've got is a GST uh, payable account, GST clearing, should I say? You may have noticed that I've forgotten something. The GST clearing needs to be um, cleared. Um, by using the GST collected um, and offing, offsetting that against the GST credits received. So I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to quickly do that. So simply what we do, we um, we credit 515 against this um, 600 there. So our total that we have to pay, that we have to clear is 85. So if we take those items away, you can see that it still balances down the bottom. So this GST collected it needs to be changed to GST clearing because that's the item that goes into the um, balance sheet. So let's put that in of $85. There we are. And we've got to do a few other bits and pieces. So let, let's keep going through the trial balance. Um, I've got no liabilities, no other long term liabilities, not got capital. So let's put in the um, there's no non-current liabilities. What I might do is just is, is just um, get rid of those. So it'll be a zero balance. My total liability is 885. I have to add other things yet. And you'll notice that accrued expenses hasn't been sorted and accrued revenue, which I'm going to come to in a moment, because I'm working for it methodically. You'll see that I've just gone down the list, and if I was doing it by hand, I would have ticked off all these items. I'm currently here, capital 16750. Uh, Let's put that in. That goes down here. I just cap 160750. And we've already got the profit there that's been calculated. And down here, we've got to put in the drawings. Let's do that. Drawings are 275. So let's put that in. That goes in there, 275. Alright, now it doesn't balance yet because I haven't yet put in all my final adjustments, those four down here, prepaid, crude, expenses revenue and unearned revenue. I've got to do that. Now if you don't do that in your exercise, uh, you're straight away not going to get a B rating even if you get everything else right because that's an essential part of doing our adjustments and knowing what we have to do on balance day. Okay, so prepaid expenses 2200 so we're going to go back to our balance sheet. And you note that we haven't got that there. So I'm going to insert a line there and put in prepaid expenses for 2200 Now it's adjusted nicely. So I've got that one sorted. Um, I've now got to go crude expenses $500. Go back here. Crude expenses, I had them here. That was the old amount, remember, because I started off with another. Um, uh, balance balance sheet. Uh, if I go up, I've got to adjust my accrued revenue. That was five hundred dollars there, so I'm going to tick that. Five hundred dollars. And lastly, I've got another um, current liability put, to put in. So I'm going to insert another column there. I want to call that unearned revenue. It's not spelled correctly, but anyway, um, that's a hundred dollars if you can remember. So from there, see it was a hundred dollars. So unearned revenue put that in. Let's look at our balance sheet. I've got net assets of one six two seven five, um, and I'm hoping that things are balancing. Look at that; it has done. So I've done it correctly. I've got no stresses. I've got nothing to worry about. But in your case, if you have got a difference, you will then, same way that you find the difference in a trial balance, is to find the difference in the first instance and then look for that amount on the trial balance. Okay, it might be $200, so it might be one of those, it might be 460 whatever. Alternatively, if you've done a mistake, for example, if you put insurance on the credit side or done something silly like that, or commission revenue, 
you put that on the debit side, for example, as an expense as, instead of a, um, a revenue, it will then mean that you're looking for double that amount. So you either look for the si single amount or half that amount because if you put it on the wrong side, it doubles the mistake. If you then, if it, it then doesn't balance, I suggest that you check your adding up. I mean, for me, it's been easy because I've used a spreadsheet. Um, but there, there you are. That's the process that I would go through, um, and hopefully that'll be of use to you. Thanks for listening.